Hello, hello. Today I am going to make a trivet out of this hexagon tile. I have the back of it all. Oops. I have the back of it all taped up right there. And I mixed up my paints. I'm going to do a beach theme. Um, I've already done a couple of paintings like this. But this time I'm going to do something a little different. I want to add some sand in. Um, I have some sand. I've got some shells too. Some little baby ones. So I may try to add some of that in after while well, it's still wet. Um, when this is done, I want to put some netting that I have over the top of it and resin it. So it'll be a little thicker. Um, but I think it'll make a really cool trivet. All right. First, I think that I will do the water. And I think I'm going to do, maybe try to have this much be water and this much be sand. I think if you get to half and half, it'll be odd. So, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. I'll pour in some of this. That was a homemade color. Couldn't even tell you what it is. Um, this one is, hold on, can I put on my glasses? Cobalt. Cobalt Hue from Apple Barrel. I'm going to put in a little bit of white. That's such pretty purple. This is a blue. This regular blue, I use it for some of my swipes, so it's got some silicone in there. I do some interesting things. I have lots of different colors of blue here. And there's darker blue. And I have some of this. This is one of those really pretty colors I love. Uh, it's the iridescent blue-green. Um, it is... I think I got that at Walmart, honestly. Studio Acrylics High Viscosity. Oh no, I had this one sent to me. Uh, from Amazon. Um, this one is that uh, the Prussian blue. I have not been painting. I have not been painting in a couple of days. So I don't. It's kind of weird for me. Uh, I've been resining. Love the resin. Love the resin. The resin is pretty fun. The results are amazing. Uh, 
I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'll add some more of this. I think this is a good water blue green look. And I know it's a little more purple. I got a lot of blue in here, so I'll go more purple. I definitely do not want purple down here. Um, you know what, Marcy? I just don't know what to do. Put all the paints in. All of them. saving my paints. <laughs> Always end up with fun colors. Okay, I'm going to flip cut this real quick. And it's pretty. And I hope I get it in one shot. And while that's sitting there, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing up the sand. I won't be done with the with mixing up the sand before I flip over that blue, but it'll be good to cut down on time, right? My videos always end up taking 16 hours. I'm going to put some of this pearl marmalade in there. I think that'll be real pretty in the sand. Not a lot, though. I don't want it to take over, but it is pretty color. I'm kind of going light, dark, light, dark. That way, get the layers in there. Just lots of different browns. I like to keep my almost empty colors in these little bottles. You never really know what's going to be in there. It may be a brown if it's a brown, or it may be. Something else, who knows? Well, I think I'll finish out all three of these bottles and get those gone. Clear up some space in my paint container in my paint closet. I don't know what you call it, cabinet.
you know what color that was? From Arteza, I know that. It's not the metallic. Okay. So I'm going to be done. I'm going to go ahead and set this over to the side. And I'm going to pull this up. all of it right off the edge right away There's a whole lot of book dust. I don't think it looks very beachy, but it sure is pretty. Oh, now decisions, decisions. Should I just make the whole thing like that? Or should I add the beach down there at the bottom? Because that doesn't look very beachy to me. Um, okay, we may have a change plans here. dumped off most of my paint over here, so <laughs> this could be interesting. Hmm. I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. I was going to go with one thing, and I had a whole plan. And then it turned out looking like this. This is definitely not the sea that I was looking that I was thinking I was going to get. And I have this corner down here where my fingers are now. That is odd looking. I always want to make sure you get your covers, your corners covered. But you want to cover them in the right colors. With all that purple right there, covering them in my, with my blue fingers isn't really helping. <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to uh, keep it like this. I don't think I'm going to add the beach. Oh. 
This is a lot heavier than a canvas, that's for sure. I have this bottom part down here that's got a stripe on it. So I'm just going to knock that. Well, that's very, very cool. Back to the beach. Now I'm going to have to figure out something to do with all this sand covered stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, I have lots of canvases. Ordered a whole bunch. I've got canvases and I have paints from Arteza and I've got resin from Stone Coat countertops, which I love. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been having so much fun with this resin. I'm loving it. I'm definitely going to have to get some more. Definitely not what I had in mind, but I really like it. Okay, let's see if I can put in Super pretty. Think I'll have to rest in that one. Alright. Thanks for watching, you guys.